This is the best of three for the final ticket to China. This will be deciding who is gonna join. Fly, Infi, TH, Sushi, Sushi, Watchy Bridge, Yours, Hate, Love, Anger, Moon, Reprisal, and Law Light. Is it gonna be Focus, the Orc, the old school Orc, the WC3L champion, the third place from WCG 2013, or is it Email Fan? A very, yeah unknown or not that successful human from Korea will he follow reprisal to Yin Chuan we are about to witness this is last refuge so uh, it is gonna be easy for email fan to expand but I think tower rushing is not that easy we have seen focus getting tower rushed here I think or was it so in we definitely definitely saw a tower rush on this map already um, I think it was focused, and yeah, he trapped himself here uh, in the upper right of the base. It was against Reprisal, I think. The first map against Reprisal. So let's see if Focus base build is a little better today, and if he can fight off, finally find off uh, this tower rush. <clears throat> For email fan, his performance against humans so far in this tournament against so uh, against the Orcs, against So In was absolutely splendid. He tried to tower rush twice, once on Turtle Rock with close position, that of course uh, was a pretty easy one, and then later on, what was it, on Echo Isles, he expanded first and then had the final push, assisted with towers, towers, and So In really had no chance, and this is one of his best matchups as far as I know. He feels very, very confident in this one, and Focus is exactly the other way around. Since his comeback, he feels like he's struggling versus uh, humans. He tried to practice with uh, guys like yours, or someone from, from the European scene, but due to time issues, that was not the case. Okay, so in not going for an expansion, he is taking right away, so this will be a tower push once again, most likely. But uh, the orcs keep good track of the Archmage, uh, deny the creeping, it's so important to keep him away from level 3 and the grunts, yeah, they are doing a great job so far. Here comes the lumber mill, Focus wants to be prepared, he wants to get his towers up, he wants to be able to build catapults and uh, headhunters of course. Maybe catapults are not the right way to approach a tower rush here, <clears throat> wind of the wind, uh, wind of the wind, wind of illusion. It's still early, guys. I'm sorry for, for the few mistakes that I'm doing here. Um, <clears throat> can provide a lot of uh, blockers if you use it on grunts. Tag halfway through. This is a very, very fast tag by Email Fan. Uh, battle for the boots. I think Focus got it. Ah, let's check the inventory. I think that's the obvious one that he bought the boots here. And it's still a level 1 Archmage, and the tech is at least uh, two-thirds done. So, Focus annoyed the Shiat out of this human player so far. The shop is super late, so Focus uh, skipped the shop to tech earlier as well. Just to be prepared for this rush. A little later than his opponent, though. But the war mill is already finished. He has almost 300 lumber. So, uh, of course, he has to invest a lot in the tier 2 buildings. But maybe a tower can be built as well. So the Blade Master didn't creep at all. No really good items for him. No damage boosting items, no claw. Just that one circlet for, for more survivability. And the Archmage is getting a creep spot, but the Blade Master is nearby. He has two wind walks. The Grunts know about this, but can't really disturb it. Ring of Protection, not that bad. Focus getting the XP on the water elemental, this is important, he needs critical strike and three hits and the Archmage has to run away, so can only get the warrior, not even level two. Random ants are being thrown to the grunt, takes a lot of hits unfortunately. <clears throat> But what is Email Fan capable of? What can he do with only level 1 Archmage? Not even the Brilliance Aura. Here comes the Beastmaster. Double Arcane Sanctum and the Lumber Mill is ready. Did he pull the Militia yet? I don't think so. He's just trying to pressure him with summons now. Tier 2 buildings far back in the base of Focus. He definitely learned. And I heard that Email Fan practiced with the So In yesterday uh, until 6 a.m. Korean time. So he definitely takes a lot of effort into this. These players are, I think, um, the ones who practice the most. I think 
Lo Lolite and Reprisal are just uh, naturally gifted by the gods to be able to pull their, their game off. But Focus and Email Fan, they practiced hours after hours after hours after hours. Level 2 for the Blade Master now. Still a level 1 Archmage. This is a large uh, beastery, obviously, and the Spirit Walker. Uh, once again, no militia being pulled. The Tower Rush is extremely delayed, and this looks good for the former Meteor Makers guy. The one uh, who won the NGL twice and the WC3L once together with his uh, comrades Shy, Space, Minyuk, K, whatnot. Okay, Focus is in danger here, he needs to get this beastery up and I think he will succeed. Yep, damage now to the summons, I think the damage is not enough. Oh, this is close though, this is really really close and he keeps it alive, he keeps it alive with 20 HP. <clears throat> this is so important this just might have won the game here to be able to produce raiders and snare catapults kodos whatever now and here it is the first kodo beast right away for the damage boost this is so important and what can email fan do now he is so far behind but he has to do an all-in push i feel you see it no real items on the blade master but he has the first uh, sorceresses Getting the masonry upgrade for the towers. And here he comes. He pulls the militia. The item situation is interesting. Oh, nothing. Not a heal scroll, not an invo potion. Just nothing. Focus scouts it right away with the illusion. Maybe he can pull the creeps again to create some more time. The first walker is here for spirit link. So the damage is divided between all the orc units. And yeah, he pulls the creeps. He pulls the creeps. One gets answered and, and it's a sorceress. This is really, really huge. One less slow helps focus so much, but yeah, the human is here, focus trying to pull the creeps again, two beautiful hand snares uh, from the creeps towards email fan, he has to save the Kodo Beast, but it gets focused right away, and now the entire army arrived, but still supporting the orc here, Blade Master deals good damage to the peasants, critical strike, water elemental being focused right away, down it goes, no dispel so far, I think it's only adept for the walkers, here comes the first headhunters, yes, focus is really adapting, and now surround on the beast master, he's getting the second hero, no more quill beasts, no more quill beasts, and email fan immediately has to tap out here, town portal, and he even lost the sorceress to the fiend, Focus really, really impressive. He knew exactly what's coming on and in comparison to yesterday, he tried to this creep pull, um, but it didn't work that well. This time he pulled both shops, getting beautiful end snares on the sorceress and uh, mixes it up. No raider walker combo. This time it's headhunter and Kodo level three now. Big invo potion. This means beast mode available for the blade master. 15 seconds of uh, untouchability, maybe you can get the creep here, no. Uh, the Archmage is level 2 finally, of course he needs level 3 for the next push, can he get the Magi? Yep, he gets the Health Stone as well. And now I think everything is just a downward spiral for the human player, but we have seen a good first defense against Reprisal from Focus as well, and then the human came back with a second devious blow to fight him on a Turtle Rock. Adept upgrade for the, for the Sorks. Focus is pulling the creeps again. We have the first Raider, we have Ensnare, we have the second Raider, Walker. Uh, everything looks good for him. And maybe one open fight here. Level 2 Shadow Hunter. This means Heal Wave level 1. Lots of summons once again. Dispelling beautifully. Hitting all the summons with one strike. Down goes one grunt. Yep, here it is. But in the meantime, the end snares fly by. Focus now, yeah, getting rid of the next sorceress. And email fan is just falling apart here. The orc army is too strong. And with the code beast almost untouchable here. The end snares are absolutely gorgeous. And he kills just one unit after another. And it's time to go for the AM and snare. Where is Hex? Oh, there is no town portal. Here comes the GG. And Focus leads 1-0. And he is one map away from the WCA Grand Final. Well deserved. Well deserved. We all were scared. Like Happy, Sunrise, me, Focus himself. That he would be unable to beat the Tower Rush. 
but I guess since yesterday he practiced a lot and adapted a lot and just changed his game and played it completely different. And yeah, this is the way to go. Going for an early Kodo, going for a Headhunter, not a tower, no catapults. This is way more effective, I feel. And of course, the creep pulls. The creep pulls are key, or were key here. But it all started in the early game, when Focus was able to de deny the creeping of the Archmage. Always a grunt attached to the horse, or to the old man on the horse. So starting a tower rush with only level 1, with no brilliance or with no water mentals level 2, is destined to fail. So the next map, as far as I know, is gonna be Echo Isles, I think. <clears throat> yeah, focus is uh, choice is Turtle Rock, so this has to be Echo. And this is uh, where... Email fan just destroyed, just destroyed, uh, so in. But his tech was super, super late in that game. So let's see if he can adapt. He has to step his game up. So in is not focus. And email fan is not reprisal. Because, uh, was it the first game? No, it was Last Refuge. Yeah, Last Refuge and Turtle Rock, where Reprisal beat Focus. Any results here? I'm surprised that Focus feels so, so lost against Human, because he beat Hawk quite regularly in the European Cups. But Hawk is not a tower rush player. He goes mass casters. Maybe the push is supported by towers. But uh, he's not relying on that towers like the Koreans do. Yeah, focus of course. The Intellect Stream Masters Los Angeles uh, bronze medal winner from 2009. The Africa Warcraft League 2 runner up. And as I mentioned before, WCG third place. Plus, he won 45 Zotac Cups back in the day. He's been around the scene for at least 2007. Maybe in Korea he was known a little earlier, like 2006, maybe 5. But his big breakthrough definitely in 2007. And six years later, after his army duties, he is back. Trying his absolute best to qualify for a big tournament once again. After WCG 13, we saw an interview with him with uh, GoodGame.ru, and he was so sad that this this was his uh, final competition, and now he's just one map away. And here we go. It is Turtle Rock. Oh boy, not Echo. This is Turtle Rock, and Turtle Rock went. Pretty well for focus against reprisal. The the early game was absolute splendid, but afterwards the second push from reprisal was not defendable, I guess anymore. And maybe maybe email fan watches uh, watch the replays <clears throat> and knows about this and knows what reprisal did wrong in the early game and adapts. I think Focus can play exactly the same than he did on, on Last Refuge. He knows that a tower rush is coming. There's no way the human can expand here. And this is why I think the map voting of, of Email Fan is a bit strange. I think on Echo Isles he would have been the higher uh, he would have had the higher chances. This is not only about the slot to China. The loser goes home with 140 euros. The winner takes home at least 1,200. And of course the chance to win 150,000 euros in December in Yinchuan. 
So yeah, we have cross positions here. Obviously a blade master again. Obviously a uh, an archmage again. So the human will most likely go for a lot of green camps, trying to evade the blade master e evasion creeping. And yeah, this looks like it. <clears throat> but he's going to the back of the turtle. That's interesting. Focus once again with his signature move with uh, the Ogre Magi creep. And he's not going for his own shop. He's going for email fans shop. And this is quite risky. The Archmage knows about this. Can he support the creeps here? He is attacking the Blade Master. But in that case, helps. Ah, uh, no, not help. Okay, now the Trappers attack as well. Uh, here we go. Cloth of Attack plus nine. The risk was worth it. But uh, he has no vision on that lane now. He has the watch to ward, but it's far back in the trees, so he can't see the path in front of the merchant. But the claws plus nine. This is the one of the best items that he could have found. Pendant of energy would have been a little better. But that's about it. And here comes the Blade Master once again. Stealing the big turtle would be a big deal. He gets it. Plus the slippers. Plus the slippers. Plus 14 damage on level 1. And now level 2 getting the next creep. Oh boy, this is a horrible early game for Email Fan Focus. Just destroying him here. What can the human do now? He has slippers as well. But that's only a bit more armor points for him. He has a fast tag again, I think. Is he creeping? Yeah, he's creeping with the militia, but losing one to the creeps. This is bad. And I feel focus far, far, far ahead. He needs to keep this grunt alive. Blade Master comes to eight here. Critical strike for 122 on level one. Are you kidding me? Archmage has to run away. There's no way he can escape this. Boots on the Blade Master. No boots on the Archmage. Uh, Lumber Mill here once again, but he can never, ever, ever tower rush him. He needs to town portal here, but there's no shop in the base. He needs an item from the shop. He needs an item in this potion or something in this potion and dust probably. Dust. Oh, only the boots to get away. One more hit and the Archmage falls and this will most likely decide the game here. Is it enough? Does he have another wind walk? This would be super important healing. Ah, but no mana. No mana. The Archmage escapes. The Archmage escapes. If he does not do a stupid movement mistake, then his first hero survives. He is level 1 this game. And Focus has to give up. Yeah. He has to give up. <laughs> this was as close as it gets. 20 HP, but the Archmage survives. Keeping Email Fan in this game here. A good friend of Lolliot. But I think that goes for Focus as well. But what can you possibly do wrong after this early game, after these item drops? This Blade Master is just a beast and now the shop is finished. But the Blade Master is coming for the arrest again. In the meantime, the Grunts creeping the little green camps here. To get some more experience getting closer to level 3. But yeah, keeping the human busy is key to victory here. He's pulling militia nevertheless. But the Blade Master can almost deal with it alone. <laughs> He's killed the first unit, the second unit. Oh, there's no ivory towers, I think. And there's only two footmen. This is absolute desperation. Fire Lord now. Instead of instead of a Beastmaster, he's going for Fire Lords. He needs a lot of hits. Panda and Brewmaster by focus. Same reaction than yesterday to Reprisal. It did work for the first push. It did not work for the second push. But Reprisal's army was way, way, way stronger. The Blade Master was a lot weaker. But Email Fan is trying it again. Late Warmill this time. Early Beast 3. Here comes the towers. He had one ivory tower. I think he could only afford one. First grunt goes down. He goes for the, for the fire lord once again. Cutting his HP in half with one critical strike. But two lava spawns on the battlefield. Now he has to get rid of them very, very quick. Here comes the first breath of fire. One, la uh, one lava spawn down. 
And the, the workers, they're all going down, they're getting wrecked here by the orc. Focus one step away from China. Everything is red, but the Pendant Brewmaster, the Pendant Brewmaster has no potion anymore. But the Fire Lord in return goes down as well. No, he stays alive. And so Focus loses his second hero without the return kill. This is bad. This is bad, but with a crit now. Ooh, 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 ooh. He has no mana for Windport, but no bullets on the Fire Lord. One critical strike and he's down. One normal hit will save the Fire Lord, I guess. The towers are all down. Firelord tries to save himself from the creeps, but he'll go down most likely. Four summons now, four summons, and yeah, here goes the Fire Lord. Blade Master is so far away now. He has a potion, but no wind walk to return to his base um, very, very soon. Okay, repair on the burrow. It's absolutely necessary. Defend to protect him from the projectiles from the Orc burrows. Here comes the Blade Master once again. He has a little healing dealing with the uh, water elemental. Pendant and Brewmaster is back, and he needs him. He needs the Breath of Fire, but all the army, all the workers from Email Fan is gone. He can only deal with the summons, trying to get some more towers. Level 3 on the Blade Master, now level 2 Windwalk, maybe even level 2 Critical Strike. Nope, he skilled the Windwalk, 128 Critical Strike, and notice uh, 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 a sign for that. One more water mental down. He can deal with the footman. No, he's going for the hero right away. He is going for the hero right away, but the Archmage retreats. Hoo hoo hoo. This was closer than expected, but in the end, Focus fought him off. <coughs> And he's just killing one unit after another. But needs to be careful. Only two grunts. Not microing him away. Not saving him. Next breath of fire. Maybe the yeah, final breath of fire here. But this is the final tower as well. And both peasants are dying. Only the heroes remaining for email fan. He's grinding on the skin of his teeth. Here comes the Blade Master again. Two more windbox GG! And focus! He's going to China! His dream! His month-long dream! He stays alive! And I know several people in Germany so happy right now, but the happiest person on earth might be focus right now. He was so scared from the humans. He was so scared of the tower rushes, of the sorks, of everything. But no. He adapted. He used his time well, practiced and practiced and came up with new strategies, at least on the first map. Second map was uh, the same as yesterday against Reprisal, but his opponent was not strong enough. The creep got disturbed once again, so Email Fan could never hit with a level 2 water elementals uh, added to the tower rush. I think that was key in both games, to harass him from the early on, from, from the get-go, just walk over with the Blade Master, steal the creeps, harass the Archmage, deny the creeping, not let him advance to level 3 and the same time creep yourself your way to level 2 to get crit, and uh, yeah, the, the tactical adaption on Last Refuge was absolutely gorgeous, Turtle Rock, I think just uh, the harass one in the game. And yeah, the next game is going to be Law Lyot versus Reprisal. The Master of the Warden versus the Master of the Blood Mage. And we have our three contestants, man. The important thing is done from now on. It's all about the money. 4,200 euros for the winner, 2,800 for the runner-up and 1,200 for uh, rank 3. But yeah, we have... Uh, 11, 11, right? Yeah, 11 contestants now for the WCA Grand Final. And these are TH, Infi, Fly, Sushishi, Moon, Yoss, Watchief Rich, Hate Love Anger, Reprisal, Law Light, Focus. Whew, what a packed tournament already! And we have one more qualifier here. It's the Chinese one. Oh, two more. And of course, the open qualifier for uh, Europe. So five more slots for this beautiful, beautiful tournament. The biggest tournament in Warcraft 3 history. And yeah, we have a break. Let's see. Uh, until 8.30. So one hour break. And yeah, I'm going to send you into a small commercial break here. And then we'll see each other later for the winner bracket.